is the Reverend Otto Wesley Duncan, Jr., the former pastor of St. James AME Church in New Orleans, Louisiana. Thank you for being with me today, Reverend Thank Duncan. Thank you. The first thing I'd like to ask you is, how did the historic St. James AME Church, how did they fare when Katrina hit New Orleans? Um, there was considerable damage. However, the damage was not uh, as severe as in some other buildings and other churches. Um, the, the, the flooding in that area was about two and a half feet. And so in the church, there was about two and a half feet of water. The floor is sloped uh, from the entrance down to the chancel rail area. So the deeper water was at the front and the lower part was at the entrance. So uh, it wasn't to the extent that you just had to uh, demolish the church, but it was repairable. Um, and we were able to do that. Thank you, Reverend Duncan. Um, how has Historic St. James AME Church in New Orleans, how have they come along with the recovery? Uh, we have made considerable progress in the recovery. Uh, the members uh, came together and then we were blessed to have outside support with financial gifts and grants that enabled us to uh, almost complete the restoration in the church uh, even though not complete, not completed is a very beautiful structure at this point. Thank you. Uh, Reverend Duncan, <laughs> is there anything left that needs to be done, maybe of a significant nature? Yeah, there are significant other things to be done. Uh, we need to upgrade, in particular, the electrical system. And um, there's some, um, in some areas of the church, not in the in the, in the worship area, but in some other places where we need some work on the walls and the ceilings. Uh, and then we'd like to put new carpet on the floor. And, and those are the most uh, pressing things that we want to get completed. Reverend Duncan, is there a Steinway piano that needs to be restored? Yes. There's a Steinway piano at the church, which, had, which was purchased by the choir a drive sponsored by the, uh, which was known as the Sanctuary Choir, and that was in 1961. And coincidentally, I was a member of the choir at that time. Uh, it was a very beautiful instrument. Um, of course, over the years, those decades, it has suffered a little deterioration of the bumped, uh, scarred, and it would just be a great thing if we could have you been told by, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Have you been told by the people who are uh, heading up this restoration project that after uh, the Steinway people get through with it, that this piano will be in just like new condition? Yeah, I would, I would, I'm assured, I'm very confident that it would be. And uh, it's not, it's not major, major, but and it, it is workable now, but the, the captain work needs to be addressed and, and of course some of the internal work. But I think it would be a beautiful instrument once it's restored and, and functional. Right. Now, uh, Reverend Duncan, I realize you're not the pastor there anymore, but I, I, I think you do go back and forth right. quite often and, the, and even your sister is a member there. So in your mind, what do you, what do you think the, the, the restored Steinway grand piano, what would that mean to the morale of the congregation of St. James and what would it mean to them in terms of overcoming the, the uh, obstacle of Katrina coming through and doing such havoc? How would it lift their spirits? I, if I can call it a historic icon in the church, I think just to have that piano restored and have some type of celebration and rededication, I think that would be a, a great morale builder. and something for the congregation to rally around, and particularly it would be a great asset to the music department. If Harry Connick Jr. came that night during the celebration, would that, would that be something that New Orleans would never forget? That would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I just want to thank you, Reverend Duncan, for making yourself available today and sharing with us the information that you have about historic St. James AME Church in New Orleans, Louisiana. Thank you very much. Bye.